What's up Elite Thenx athletes, it's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a super effective way to get six pack abs. <laughs> Now when people are trying to get six pack abs, the most common go-to exercises are usually sit-ups or crunches. Now these two exercises engage your abdominals, but they're definitely not the most effective way to develop and train all of your six pack abs. And that's because crunching from a laying down position, you're mainly using your upper abdominals and your upper body to complete this exercise, leaving out a lot of engagement in your lower abdominals as well as your obliques. These two exercises may be okay for your top abs, but there are way more effective exercises that you can be doing and will develop your entire abdominals a lot faster. And the most effective exercises that are gonna activate your entire core, those are gonna be hanging abdominal exercises. When you're in a hanging position, you're already engaging your entire core before you even start the exercise. Because we're lifting our lower body from a hanging position, we're gonna be engaging a lot more of our lower abdominals versus lying down in a crunch or sit-up position and virtually not using your lower body at all. And you may not realize, but because you're hanging, you're contracting your upper abs and your upper body to stop you from swinging, keep your body controlled, and to complete this exercise. Also, when you're laying on the ground, you're working with a smaller portion of your body weight versus from a hanging position, you're gonna be lifting a lot more of your body weight with your abdominals, and it's gonna be a more effective contraction as you'll always have the same constant resistance pulling down every time you lift your legs versus laying down on the floor as you lift your legs all the way to the top. The closer you get to the top, the less weight and the less resistance you end up using. There's also additional benefits that you'll get from hanging on the bar and doing ab exercises. For example, the longer you hang on the bar, the more you're training your grip strength. And by hanging, you're also improving your core and back muscle connections. And that coupled with a strong grip is gonna improve your pulling strength and increase your repetitions in all other pulling exercises. And that's why I've been training hanging abs for years and today, I'm gonna be showing you one of my favorite hanging ab workout routines. This is gonna be a super effective workout that's gonna develop all the muscles in your abdominals. Not just looking strong, actually being strong. So if you're ready to get this workout started, let's do it together. All you need is to find a place to hang and open up the Thenx app to this YouTube workout. And of course, if you haven't gotten the Thenx app already, download the Thenx app right now in the App Store or Google Play Store to get this workout as well as access to all our workout programs. And of course, to get full access, make sure you're a member on Thenx.com. Now we're getting into this routine. This is going to be eight exercises for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest in between. We're going to start with the hardest exercise and work our way down to the easiest. If you feel like you need to stop at any moment, you can come down, take a second to catch your breath and go up. My best advice is to slow down if you need to, but try not to stop. And if you come across an exercise that's too hard to complete at the moment, you can always just continue to do a progression of it like leg raises or knee raises. So if you're ready, then I'm ready to get started. The first exercise we're going to be getting into is toes to bars. Let's go for it. Keep your legs as straight as you can. You definitely don't need to do it as fast as you can. You wanna do it as perfect as possible. All right, there we have the first exercise, toast the bar. We're gonna go ahead and take a 20 second rest. Now, if you find yourself swinging too much, that means that you need to grip harder. You need to have a stronger grip and engage your abdominals more. That should stop you from swinging. You can also touch the ground with the tip of your toes after every rep. Next exercise, we're gonna be going for hanging L-sit. You wanna have your legs at a completely straight 90 degree angle. Now you wanna hold this position as long as you can. If you can't anymore, you can go ahead and bring in your knees to a tucked L-sit hold. You can also hold with one leg if you're feeling fatigued. We got this. Now, if you're able to hang on this far, remember we're starting with the hardest exercises and then working our way down to the easiest. So if you're good so far, it's smooth sailing from here. Next exercise, we're gonna be going for hanging leg raises. Now this is just gonna be like the L-sit. You need to bring your legs up at least 90 degrees. And it'll be helpful if you can at least hold it for one second, then come back down. Make 
making sure you're regulating your breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Strong grip. Making sure you're not swinging. Alright, there we have the hanging leg raises. Next we're gonna be moving on to an easier exercise. That's gonna be hanging knee raises. We're gonna go ahead and take a 20 second rest. For this exercise, you wanna bring your knees to your chest as high as you can. And remember, you don't have to do it quickly. You should be doing it as effective as possible. Remember, breathe in. Breathe out as you come down. If you're just getting started, you can just go up as high as you can. Eventually, you'll work up your core strength to be able to go higher and higher. All right, moving on to the next exercise. It's gonna look very similar to this one. Next, we have hanging corner raises. Now, these are just like the hanging knee raises, except when we get our knees to the top, we're gonna to go ahead and rotate them in a 90 degree angle, making it super effective, especially for your lower abdominals and your obliques. Let's go for it. Very amazing. Make sure to bring them nice and high. Get those legs to a 90 degree angle. See whichever side your heel comes on, squeeze more and engage more with that side of your hand. When you bring them up, squeeze your core as hard as you can. All right. There we have it. Next exercise we're gonna be getting into is gonna be hanging leg flutters. And by now, you should definitely feel your forearms fired up from your grip and definitely your core. Remember, you can always just hang for a moment if you need to take a break, but the best thing to do would just slow down, keep the contraction going. You don't wanna lose your momentum. Remember, the longer you wait, the harder it is to start again. Let's go for these leg flutters. Those legs straight. our way through this we just got two more exercises to go the next exercise we're going to be going for hanging bicycles this is very similar to the hanging leg flutters except we're going to be coming up with our knees this is going to make it an easier progression for us to keep going working past that point of fatigue let's go for it that leg that goes straight down you want to keep it straight and the one that comes up you want to bring that knee as high as you can can go a little faster, go ahead and try. And if you're feeling fatigued, you can go ahead and slow it down. As long as you're going at your own pace, you're going as hard as you can. Let's go, last ones. All right, our last exercise is gonna be hanging crunches. Now this exercise doesn't require a lot of range of motion, but it does require a lot of abdominal contraction. You wanna act as if you're bringing your hip bones to your shoulder blades. That act is gonna contract your abdominals from the bottom to the obliques all the way to the top. So if you're ready, let's go for it. Make sure you have a tight grip, feet tight, tight, tight together. We're gonna crunch, come back. Sure to go back to full extension, then crunch back again to really make this most effective. Very 
regulate your breathing. These are the last ones, make them count. Let's go, keep it going, last ones. Everything you got. My abdominals are on fire right now. And congratulations if you just completed this with me. We just got through round one. If you complete this routine two more times for a total of three rounds, you're on your way to getting a super shredded six pack, not just looking strong, actually being strong. So remember to get this workout on your phone as well as full access to all our workout routines definitely sign up to thenx.com and become a member to get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts just like this one. They're gonna have you shredded. Don't forget to download the Thenx app in the App Store to take our workouts with you everywhere and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world getting in the best shape of their lives right now. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you want the next video to be about and share this video with a friend that needs a super effective way to get six pack apps. And if you're looking for more on my content, content during the week, then make sure you're subscribed to my vlog channel. That's youtube.com slash Chris I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. And also make sure you're following me on Instagram. Almost every single post, I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following me on IG. For everyone enjoying the music on the channel, make sure you subscribe to my SoundCloud to make sure you have all my latest tracks, soundcloud.com slash Chris And make sure to play my music the next time you're training for some extra workout motivation. And lastly, we're about to start our Euro trip for 2020. So if you want to see us in your country, or you want to attend one of our workshops, then send us a DM to Thenex on Instagram and we'll be getting back to you with more information. Stay tuned because we'll be announcing the dates for our Euro trip very soon. And with that said, I'll see you guys next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out.